Anyways, I have thought about trying to cut out the... I don't know. Cat hair. Eyes, cat hairs. <laughs> yep, turn on my thumb. Jeez. The, uh... I'm not cut... I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired of trying to cut everything out. I'm tired of putting on weight now. It so sucks. It just so sucks. <laughs> I'd have to do like nothing else except for workout. Seriously. You know, I don't take these two for walks like I should because they go insane when they see another dog. Ugh. They go insane. So you're trying to walk them. First off, they don't walk. They sniff. They sniff and they pull to the next tree and they sniff. Then if another dog goes bark, bye, bark, yeah, bye, holy growl, growl, bark, snarl, pull, leap. It's just like insane. They're going to be 11. So, you know, um, these types of dogs, I looked it up and they usually only live to 12. They can live longer. You know, they could live to 12 to 15, but their average lifespan is 12. They're almost 11, so I don't know. I, I just, you know, crazy. So, taking them for walks is not a walk. <laughs> and then with the grandson here, I can't, if I take the grandson for a walk with the dogs, with him and his stroller, the dogs pull so hard, they pretty much pull the stroller right over. And then I want to take him to the park because he needs to get out and run around and I, I can't be going down the slide with him and following him up onto the equipment and how the dog's with me. And plus, you know, if the people and other kids come along, it's just not going to work. But I can't look after him, the grandson and the dogs. So that don't work. And if I leave the dogs here and I take the grandson to the park, which I did the other day, the dogs go absolutely nuts, especially Pebbles. She sits at the door and she cries and whines and barks and howls and carries on like a lunatic. And she, like, they, the others, like my daughter lived here and stuff before. And, like they tell me, you know. And uh, the other day when I took the grandson to the park, you know, the male here, he told me, the male. You know, she hides underneath the table and she runs under there and she sits under here and she hides underneath there and she howls and cries and whines and I'm like, oh, great. So, it makes it very difficult to get out. Yeah. And, and then I was going to take the grandson for a walk last night and he didn't want to go. I He knows the stroller. He knows the walk. walk like... He knows what you're saying, right? He knows what you're talking about. No, well, he didn't want to go. I guess he was, I don't know. He's too tired. He wanted to sit in the chair and rock and watch cartoons. Anyways. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. I have middle-aged lab now. Oh, God. It's so t That's just terrible. That's terrible. I don't know. I guess you just have to, I suppose. Well, extra large clothes and just, I don't know, accept it. My aunt lives in the country. Actually, two of my aunts. Well, one passed away now, but she had colon cancer. Live in the country, and I know they do a lot of stuff. Okay, my one aunt lives out there. They have a big garden. They grow tons of food every year. And they have chickens. They used to have rabbits. They used to have a horse. And they don't now, but... And I mean, they have like the big yard to mow and all sorts of stuff to do. But she still has the normal family roundness to her. Like, she looks nice. Don't get me wrong. She looks very nice. Not, you know. But the hereditary in our family kind of roundness that they say you put on weight around your hips because the body's protecting itself against falls. Anyways, you know, so I have it.
<laughs> I think the only way I could do anything about it is if I walked, exercised, and ate kale all day. And that's not going to happen. I can try to eat as many salads as I want, which I have actually been doing for months. Um, I'm, I'm hungry. I find that now the weather's getting colder. I'm hungry. And I hate it because I'm dang hungry. I wake up at 2 a.m. and I'm starving. I wake up at 4 a.m. and I'm starving. <laughs> it's so maddening. So, so maddening. Blah. But anyways, the sun comes first. The grandson comes first. And I had the dogs look after. And I had the cats look after. And when I can, I have to put effort into looking after this place. And the garbages and the litters and uh, general cleaning of everything. And there's so much to do here. It, it just... It's so overwhelming. Completely, completely overwhelming. Um, and then I have the grandson. And then I'm putting on all this weight. Oh, this is so... I just can't believe it. It's so not me. You know, there's a joke on Facebook that says, You ever look in the mirror and think, That's not right. <laughs> huh? Ah. Oh, well. And then I think, you know what? You're going to be 55. Not 55, because 56. And I think, oh well, I'm grandma, and I have a grandma body now. That's life. You know? And another way, I think, no, I'm going to walk on that treadmill 24 hours a day and lose it. But I can't. I can't. I need to rest. I don't have the energy. And I have the grandson. And, uh, yeah. What you gonna do? I don't know. I don't have any answers. I have the grandson. And there, I, these walls have to get done. That's a lot of painting. A lot of work. And I love the dogs. They're a lot of work. I love the grandson. He's a lot of work. I love the cats. They're a lot of work. And there's a zillion dishes a day. You know, everything could be mopped. Everything could be, like, swept, vacuumed, and mopped every day. I don't know where to put things. I don't know where to put things. And I don't know where to put things. I need to find a spot for my grandson's clothing when he's here. And I really want it to be downstairs. Because when he's really tired, and I want to get him, like, changed, and things like that, especially if he's here till 9 o'clock, I'm going to change him into his nightwear. I want it downstairs because by the time I get him up here, he just wants to run around when he's upstairs here and and it's just, no, I just want to get him, he wants to sit in the chair and rock. He doesn't want to change into a sleeper, he doesn't want his bum changed, he wants to sit in the chair and rock because he's tired. And then I'm trying to be like, okay, quick, let's change your bum, get your sleeper on, and we can go rock. That means I don't want to be bringing him upstairs here. This is going to add time. And I don't have, I, I have to try to figure out a place I can keep his clothes downstairs. Haven't figured that out yet. But I will. My bike is still in the living room on the stand, which I haven't had any time to use, which I was really, really, really hopeful. I could ride my bike because it's on that those stands, you know, to ride, st still ride, whatever they call, and it hasn't happened. So it's got to be put away in the basement, <laughs> unfortunately. I used to love riding my bike road morning and night. Ugh. Anyways, um, I'm thinking maybe I got my cedar chest back there. Maybe I can find room on my cedar chest. I don't know because there's a plant on my cedar chest. <laughs> We'll see. I don't know. But I need to find room for his clothes for when he's here. Maybe I'll keep him upstairs here someplace. And then, uh, I don't know. Keep a few downstairs? I don't know. 
I'll see. We'll figure something out, I guess, in time. We get the two bedrooms done up here. Maybe then I can keep them someplace up here and just take a couple things downstairs, which isn't going to happen every day. I'm not going to think of it. Oh, well, I'll get up here, I guess, sometime and get them. Anywho. A lot of work to do. God, I wish I could hire painters. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be so marvelous to have the money? Hire painters. Come in here and get this done. Guess if I had the money for that, I'd have my own place, though. I would be renting. Not, though. Just pay somebody. Four people. Four? Six? No, four. Let's see. Get that room done. And then would move all this furniture back over into that bedroom. And then I'd get them to do this room. Oh, that'd be just awesome. And then it'd be done. Done. It would be done. It'd be done like that. Just, just have to wait for paint to dry. And it would just be done. I could just take care of the grandson, take care of the dogs, take care of the cats, do all the frickin' dishes, and everything else that needs to be done. But the rooms would be done, and I didn't have to fit them in and try to find the energy for them. I don't mind painting. As long as I don't mind painting. I, I like painting. All right. Just energy, time. That's enough right there. <laughs> the energy and the time. I don't have the energy. Even if I have the time, I don't have the energy because then I'm laying down trying to find energy to do other stuff. I'm laying down to find the energy to get the grandson later. You know? I'm laying down trying to find the energy to do just everything else that needs to be done. 